The Well-Mannered Balloon by Nancy Willard Illustrated by Haig and Regina Shekergian The Well-Mannered Balloon The day James and his mother went downtown to buy him some new shoes, whom should they meet but the balloon man? Please, mother, buy me a balloon, said James. Later, said mother. So after they bought some shoes, his mother bought him a balloon. And James carried it home. He painted a pirate's face on it and invited the balloon to dinner. Can I have my ice cream right now? asked James. Later, said mother. The balloon ate nothing at all. A very well-mannered balloon, said father. When James went to bed, he tied the balloon to the bedpost. Can I do my jumpies now? asked James. Later, said mother. Can I have a glass of water? asked James. Later, said mother. The balloon did not do jumpies in bed. It did not ask for a glass of water. A very well-mannered balloon, said mother. Then mother went to bed and father went to bed. And the balloon spoke in a very ill-mannered voice. Wake up, said the balloon. I'm thirsty. So... James climbed out of bed and brought the balloon a glass of water. I want milk, said the balloon. So James took the balloon downstairs to the kitchen and poured it a glass of milk. But the balloon drank not just one glass of milk, but all the milk. Then gobbled up all the milk bottles and all the drinking glasses and all the cups and all the napkins. I'm hungry, said the balloon. Have a banana, said James. But the balloon ate not just one banana, but all the bananas. Then it ate the apples and the pears, and then it ate the plate, and then it ate all the plates, and all four boxes of raisins, and a box of soda crackers. And now I'm really hungry, said the balloon. I'll toast you some bread, said James. But the balloon ate not just one slice of bread, but all the bread and the butter, and then it ate the butter dish, and a box of salt, and a five-pound bag of sugar, and two jars of honey, and five jars of raspberry jam. Then it ate the toaster. Yum, said the balloon. Oh my, said James. And now I'm really very hungry, said the balloon. And it ate the radiator. And then it ate the refrigerator. And then it ate the stove. And then, just for fun, it ate the kitchen table. And now, said the balloon, I'm going to eat you up. Wait, said James. I'll bet you've never eaten a giant strawberry with silver sprinkles. No, said the balloon, I haven't. Oh, there's nothing more delicious than a giant strawberry with silver sprinkles, said James. Yum, 
said the balloon. Give me a giant strawberry with silver sprinkles. So James fetched his mother's pincushion from her sewing basket and served it to the balloon on a silver platter. And the balloon swallowed the pincushion. Pop! Out sprang the milk bottles, the drinking glasses, the cups, the napkins, the bananas, the apples, the pears, the plates, the four boxes of raisins, the box of soda crackers, the bread and the butter, the butter dish, the box of salt, the five pound bag of sugar, the two jars of honey, and five jars of raspberry jam, the toaster, the radiator, the refrigerator, the stove, and the kitchen table. And James went back to bed. The next morning, his mother found the broken balloon. Oh, what a pity that you broke your balloon. But I'm going downtown again today. Can I bring you another one, just like it? Later, said James.